Hey there everybody, it's Thackard and welcome to the first of my guide videos for the brand new survival game, Sunken Land. Sunken Land is a water world-esque survival game where you have to gather resources, defend your base, and do a whole lot of other stuff just to, you know, make it to the next day. After streaming for about seven hours on release, I have come up with some helpful tips to give you a little bit of advantage early on in the game. All right, so sit back, hit that sub button, and get ready to jot down some notes because here are five tips to help you out on your first days in Sunken Land. Tip number one, build with scrap metal. When you land on your first island, you will see plenty of trees to chop down. Resist the temptation to chop them down and build your first base. The area around your starting island is covered in ancient car wrecks and big piles of metal debris. Very quickly, you will be collecting more scrap metal than you will even know what to do with. Building your starting base out of metal also allows you to keep the wood for the really important things like cooking food and making clean water. Tip number two, only swim during the day. At night, it gets cold and in the water, it gets really cold. Turn you into a popsicle types of cold. So make plants, be in the water searching for debris and the things that you need, and then at night be on land building your base or cooking more food or anything like that. Just make sure you're in the warm areas during the nighttime. Tip number three, craft the diving fins. The diving fins allow you to swim faster underwater. That means in the normal breath that you have, you can then go and grab more scrap and more resources from underwater. To craft the fins, you are going to need marlin fish skin. So go grab yourself a weapon and get out to the ocean and go find some. Just remember that the fish you are looking for have the big, long, sharp, pointy noses. If something with big, long, sharp, pointy teeth comes at you, that's the wrong fish. Tip number four, craft a marker flag. While the marker flag may look like a reject from a miniature golf course, it is actually quite useful. Placing one of these flags will put a flag icon on your screen wherever the flag is placed. You can change the color of the flag to, you know, pinpoint different locations that you might have interest in. It is very useful when you are out on the ocean because sometimes it is easy to get turned around and lose the island that you started at. Now you will always have a marker to go back to. Tip number five, visit the trader. One of the things I suggest doing as soon as you possibly can is visit the trader. Not only does she have items that you could desperately use like a fishing rod, although it is rather expensive, there is a lot in the way of resources scattered around the trader's outpost. We are talking scrap metal, we're talking cloth, we're talking foodstuffs, we're talking clothing, we're talking rubber. Basically anything you need early on you can find sitting around the trader's outpost. So make sure you go there and loot the heck out of it. If you found these tips useful, please make sure you like the video. That allows me to see that you guys enjoy content like this and I will continue making it for you. If you have any questions or you would like me to cover something new, in a future video, please leave all that down below in the comments. Big thanks to all of you for watching the video, and I hope you have a wonderful day in Sunken Land. And remember to bring it no matter what you do.